नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं हूं आशीष और आप लोग देख रहे हैं टेक आज मैं आप लोग प्रोग्राम डेवलपमेंट साइकिल पीडीसी के बारे में बताने जा रहा हूं आप लोग बहुत सारी वीडियोस देखते होंगे कि प्रोग्राम कैसे बनता है उसका ट्यूटोरियल और वगैरह वगैरह लेकिन एक्चुअली एक प्रोग्राम कैसे कैसे फेजेस से गुजरता है वो क्या क्या स्टेप्स अपनाता है उन सबको देखने के लिए आप लोग देखते रहे हिजा टेक So yeah, you can see I have the screen over here. PDC Program Development Cycle. It's a step-by-step -step process where each stage is a building block of an effective and efficient program. So this is what the definition says. Moreover, a well-designed program helps the programmer to understand the program logic. Clearly and facilitates debugging and testing if necessary. Like uh, you know about PUBG, right? It is the most relevant game right now. So, it at first the this is a program which is created by some group of programmers, right? So what they do, what they do is they just collect the data. Like, like what is going on in the present world at the top level in the gaming level after that analyze the analyze it that uh, what type of game should I create it so that it would uh, make a good market in the world right next is program design you uh, design the program like several um, tools like algorithm, flowchart, pseudocodes, etc. and many more, right? Now next one you see you have uh, coding the solution. Coding like uh, you use the several uh, programming languages like Python. You have Python, Java, after that the more you have uh, C, C++, uh, uh, Perl and uh, Ruby and many many more which would be useful here right so they create it after that they test it whether it is right or not what is there any difficulty any kind of problem there and many more like that next is documentation so they just uh, write all the codes in a place so that it becomes very easier for them and maintenance they just maintain the program whether it is running smoothly if there is any graphics difficulty they would just resolve it and many more like that so we are just going to discuss the stages of the program development cycle as you can see here we have the stages maintenance from the collecting data to the maintenance these are the stages that we are going to discuss so here we go within collecting the data so what actually happens with collecting data is the programmer just search in the market searching of the ongoing trend like if someone wants to develop a new operating system right so he or she will be searching in the market like there is Linux right one of the most secure right so he will think that let me make up my operating system secure like Linux similarly in the graphical user interface it should be a, a quite in advanced like Windows you have and many other features where it could use uh, mac os like you everyone know it knows about it mac operating system a bit it, it needs to get implemented there also graphics and many more that is what collecting the data mean right he or she searches for the ongoing trends around him next you have is analyzing the problem what actually the problem is a company assigns some programmers so as to create a program or game or software right so he or she will be searching what actually the problem is what actually the topic is like um, this is school it wants to create its own program its own software so that it could 
make the students data saved right so what the programmer would do is what types of students what types of data he want to enter what types of data similarly um, what type of computer or the hardware he is going to use he would just search for all of them and mostly i would like to say that this is the most important phase of a program development cycle where the programmer should invest a significant portion of his time in understanding and identifying the problem the programmer looks at the same design to see what the user needs for an interface and what the user needs the program to do as earlier you have most you must have understood all the topics that i have said here right i will just add some key points looking the interface to be used and datas data okay. next is program design this is going to be very difficult a bit topic to be analyzed most recent like so the topic mean is overall the once the work problem has been identified that is analysis of all the problem the collection of the data all are done then the next stage is going to be there that is program design you can see it now next one we are going to see is it is the stage at which programmers follows the different techniques or methods to achieve the goal you must have seen my last video that was on algorithm and flow chart if you not you can see up in the i card right so the thing you are going to do here is you are just going to code the whole program using the algorithms and flow chart so that it would become very comfortable for you in order to code the program code the solution the program you want to create right so this is the way where a programmer needs to make him well certified because a clear logical algorithm and flow chart makes the programmer to make a compatible perfect program the next one you're going to see is coding the solution for this let me add some key points for program design making algorithm and flow chart okay so in the coding the solution the programmer translates the program logic program design documents into a program computer programming computer language format using the appropriate programming language you see that as i told earlier people the programmers make the solution from the program design making the algorithms and flows that they make the solution but those are in just a papers in the form of papers written hard copy how to make in software but that is make them software that is what uh, programming languages too and if you have any kind of confusion on programming languages you can see my video on the programming languages also moreover during this step the programmer eliminates all syntax and format errors from the program and all logic errors are detected and resolved this step is considered complete when a clean compile walkthrough has been held and the program coding has been approved this one mean that after the coding all the programs coding that all have been done right so the program gets executed you all know about it right so when the program is ready to execute so that is the coding is over the, uh, the solution to the problem is over not fully because the testing and debugging else are left somehow it is over the coding the solution ends i yeah, simply write that code the solution in continue uh, using programming languages you can see it over here 
next one you can see is testing and debugging the testing and debugging phase includes the testing of the program to determine if it produces the correct results this is done by feeding the program with some sample inputs to figure out whether it produces the result it is expected to and is not producing the wrong output here the main thing is that it ensures the real reliability of program right now next one is proper error messages are di displayed or not these all things are done here like uh, if you have any kind of problem while using it so the programmer comes to know it and he or she can again debug the program where the program occurs and where the problem mean problem i pronounce it mistakenly where the actual problem occurs where the error is where the bug is occurring that is what testing and debugging phase includes yeah i just tried the main point test and verify the product okay the next one is documentation it is one of the process right documentation simply mean that after perfect output we must keep and document output of coded program like uh, you make several programs right so let me suppose that you want to make a uh, make an essay write an essay right so at first you, you will write the codes like um, if i want to make uh, an essay on environment so i will just be thinking at first i in the introduction what to i write and the main points i would get right written there the same thing is what happens here in documentation all the codes right are documented up transferred into the hard copy so that it becomes very comfortable for the programmer to continue his own process and the next thing is maintenance so let me write the document just the scripting the codes into hard copy okay so next topic is maintenance once the new system is up and running for a while it should be exhaustively evaluated maintaining program resolves modifying the program to promote previously undetected errors to enhance the program with different features of functionality um and i think the pop is right if any graphical errors occur right so the the uh, company which is uh, which has just produced it introduced it to the world will get notified right and qc will resolve it that is what maintenance mean maintain the program okay so this is all we are we have need to learn about program development cycle right so the next topic we are going to read here is about the so here we are going to learn about checking program design that is once a program has been typed in and different types of bugs may show up bug what actually it is bug is the term used for an error in a program process of detecting errors and correcting them is known as debugging you must have heard it from the beginning i am talking about it so let me write it bug the errors detected in the program and now debugging 
द प्रोसेस ऑफ रिसॉल्विंग द बग्स ओके सो द नेक्स्ट नो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द एरर्स दैट आर फाउंड द बग्स दैट आर फाउंड इन द प्रोग्राम सो वी हैव सीमेंटिक एरर सिंटैक्स एरर रन टाइम एरर लॉजिक एरर राइट दिस इज ऑल वन वी हैव एट फर्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट सिंटैक्स एरर so what actually syntax error mean right so you write uh, several programs yes so within that program you code the program so let me make you so here yeah, i will just uh, do something about the queue basic just to make it compatible to you okay so let me write here cls and input and hit enter here it is showing syntax error means there is some syntax error within it so if i write here hello and add so it is okay it means the program is right up to here you can see it syntax error so you have learnt about it and the next thing we are going to do is semantic error so semantic error refers to the set of rules which keep the meaning of a statement it occurs if the syntax is correct but not meaningful like if you assign a numeric variable right if you are not numeric variable, but uh, also numeric variable to a numeric also numeric uh, data to a numeric variable is it meaningful no not at all so that is what semantic error refer to now next one is run time error so runtime error is an error which is detected during the execution of the program it is defined as an error occurring in the program that causes abnormal program behavior during execution due to the wrong output you, you see several gig go right garbage in garbage out work of the computer that is all included in a runtime error next one is logic error this is the error made by the program while coding the program that is why algorithm flow chart is the main concept to be overviewed here here yeah, the logic error is a program bug due to an uh, incorrect sequence of instructions right so let me show you up here like i wrote as here so let me go to select case select case on add so case is equal to and less than 10 then print what print 10 again case is equal to and more than 50 Not fifty, like it to make it five. Then print five, and now int select. So you can see this. The program sequence is wrong because I will be just showing you why is it wrong.
so it is asking me so let me input 5 here so it will display here 5 right again let me check it what if I write 10 if it would display 10 but in the meanwhile if I write 8 it would display 5 why does this happen because of the sequential error right so you are just going to learn about it in the next term right that is what a logical error mean the logic is wrong here right so it just showed us error so if you like the video just subs like it and uh, subscribe my channel for the more videos like this thank you